In 2015, a friend of mine introduced me to Fiverr, a freelance platform that I believe most of you might have come across. After a successful attempt, I couldn't get a client over there, so I left and in 2017, I came back and took it serious and the rest has been history. Being a freelancer in Ghana has really opened up a lot of doors for me and in this video, I'm going to share 5 tips on why you might also consider becoming a freelancer in Ghana and this is coming up. Hi everybody, my name is Innocent and on this channel we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Okay, let's start off with what freelancing is. Freelancing is basically a type of self-employment that you don't have to work with people or company on the longer basis. So you work on contracts or project basis. So you are in Ghana, you're living in Ghana, you get a company or you get somebody in the US or part of ghana and then you are basically working with them when they need you they come to you you finish the project and then you are done they pay you and you are done that is freelancing so who is a freelancer so basically a freelancer is someone who earns their money per a job task usually for a short work as an independent contractor so like i explained earlier you don't have to work with a company or the individual for that longer period it is just in a shorter period of time there has been a lot of myth about freelancing especially in ghana because one person specifically told me one time that it is not ideal for someone to sit in here and be making like thousands or two thousands of dollars in ghana working freelance and this is one of the reasons why i'm making this video there are so many interesting statistics about becoming a freelancer and one of them is that there are about 1.56 billion freelancers around the world and freelancing can be any part being a writer a translator a graphic designer video editor but in this video we are going to focus on graphic design another interesting fact that you need to know is that 32 percent of global freelancers said that their demand for services increased during the pandemic and you might actually recall that during the pandemic you really gave a second thought to the project or the thing that you've been wanting to learn or do since you were at home and you're not going on your normal nine to five jobs among some of the general reasons for becoming a freelancer in general is that you are the boss yourself you are self-employed you get opportunity to work from any part of the world or any part of your home including the toilet you set the hours you set when you want to work when you're available and when you are not available you get to do the work that you love without anybody pointing a finger or a gun on your head like most of the 95 people they do and also you get to learn a lot because you are the manager you are the accountant you are the strategist you are whatever yourself you are operating your company by yourself and yes considering all these statistics and reasons that i've given you why should you even consider becoming a freelancer in Ghana. The first point is according to the GSS report, Ghana recorded a 13.9% of unemployment rate in the second quarter of 2022. So you can actually imagine the percentage of unemployment rate in Ghana right now. And this is not anything that most of us are not aware of. We know so many graduates that are in the house, they don't have jobs to do. We know so many people that are on scale, they don't have education, that are not having jobs to do. And that tells you that if you have a skill, if you have a talent, or if you have something that you can exchange for money, you can put in the work and become a freelancer for it. Another important reason is the social and economic research of the University of Ghana stated that out of the numerous people, the numerous graduates that graduate from the university, only 10% of them are able to find jobs in their first year of job hunting. So if you are a graduate and you are watching this, you basically understand after national service, you are left at home, you don't have anything to do. And if you don't have any skill or you don't utilize some of these opportunities of becoming a freelancer or working online, working remotely, you are definitely going to be pushed to the corner. And that is why it is important that whilst you're in school and you're learning for your degree, you might consider picking up or working up on your talent, your skills, because we know the country that we are living in, it is very unlikely that you might not actually land a job in your field of work and you might want to resort to some of your skills, talent, and the things that you can do best. Point number three, the average monthly salary of the normal Ghanaian is 900 CD, which is between 60 to 70 something US dollars. So you can imagine what you can do with 900 CDs currently in Ghana. If you are a graduate, a fresh graduate, 
that you are renting a house you are paying bills and probably if you have like a child just consider the average salary to be 900 cities or if you are taking about thousand to two thousand cities you can check up on all the bills and all the things that you need to pay and you can actually think of it whether this is going to be well enough for you so i recently took a trip to accra ghana and the cost of living in Accra, Ghana should actually be enough to motivate you to start freelancing in Ghana or better still finding an extra income in Ghana. Point number four is the city depreciation. The Ghanaian city has recently depreciated sharply against many currencies like the US dollar, the Canadian dollar, the UK pounds and I'm not really proud to say this but this means that the little effort that you put in freelancing because most of the freelancers or most of the clients that we get in freelancing are from the outside of ghana so the little effort that you put in you are going to actually get money that can match up with the currency for instance let's assume that you are doing freelance as just a side job or a part-time job and you are earning between 50 and 100 dollars a month from that alone that is not your main job that is not your nine to five job but this 50 to 100 dollars should be able to pay some bills for you that you can use your actual money or your nine to five job for something different so the little effort that you put in freelancing the little money that you get between the 50s the hundreds the 200 and if you are taking it serious the 500 and thousand dollars when converted into Ghanaian cities is going to be something enough that you can use for something very important the last reason that i'm going to talk about this which i know you already know is that you cannot put your future in the hands of your nine to five jobs and the politicians in africa we all have seen what is going on in the political systems in ghana and this is not a system that you can actually put your future into and that is why you need to have an alternative and consider freelancing because freelancing will actually help you beat so many of the problems that we are having that can be corrected by the political systems in ghana so you cannot actually entrust your future in the hands of your job or these politicians in africa and you might therefore consider taking on freelancing like i mentioned earlier freelancing doesn't always have to be around graphic design you have something else in you you just have to look deep within you find that passion find that talent find that skills develop it and start exchanging that for some couple of dollars pounds and euros and yeah those are some of the reasons why you might consider starting freelancing in ghana and i hope you picked something out of this video if this video was helpful you might consider subscribing so that you don't miss the other important videos that i'll be bringing out to you on this channel thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video let me know your thoughts about freelancing in ghana let me know if you've ever heard of a myth about freelancing in ghana and if you have other avenues of making money as a Ghanaian, you might share it in the comment section and people will pick up something from it as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and Bye. Cut, cut.